हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू वांट टू हैव सच मोर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्यूशंस नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवन दैट ड्यूरिंग एन एंजन टेस्ट ऑन द ग्राउंड अ प्रोपेलर थ्रस्ट टी इक्वल्स टू थ्री थाउजेंड इज जनरेटेड ऑन दी एटीन हंड्रेड के जी एयरप्लेन विद मास सेंटर एट जी राइट सो दिस एयरप्लेन हैज़ अ मास ऑफ एटीन हंड्रेड के जी सो इट विल बी एक्टिंग वर्टिकली डाउनवर्ड at this point g right and the the propeller is applying 3000 newton force right so this t is 3000 right so it is said that the main wheels at p are locked and do not skid and the small tail wheel at a has no brake compute the percentage change n in the normal force at a and b as compared with their engine off values right so we have to find the change in the normal values the forces that are acting at this point a and b so we need to find the change in this force let's say that this force is an a and an b let's say that here the force is acting this is known as an b so we have to find the change in an a and an b when the engine is off and when the engine is start with the t equals to 3000 newton right so when the engine is off then t will be equal to 0 right so remember that when the engine is off there will be no propeller force right so i will remove this for the time being right so now we have these three forces so again we can find these three forces if i apply since the system will, will be in equilibrium so if i apply the summation of uh, moment about point a equals to 0 right and if we consider that the counter clockwise moment is positive so now as we can see that uh, this this is that weight so weight is how much weight is 1800 into 9.81 let me write that this is weight so this nb is producing the counter clockwise moment about that point a so i will write nb and the perpendicular distance of this nb from that point a is 4 plus 0.8 so this is 4.8 this is producing counter clockwise moment and this weight is producing clockwise moment so i will write minus and the weight is 1800 into 9.81 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point a is 4 meters right so we will multiply this with 4 and this will be equal to 0 uh, or if we bring this to the other side of equation so this will become positive and if we divide both side of equation by 4.8 so this will give us that and b force when the engine is off right so this and b is equal to 14715 newtons 14715 newtons right and now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so as we can see that this na is acting in the positive y direction if this is my positive x and positive y direction so we will write na minus weight so weight is 1800 into 9.81 plus nb right so nb is 14715 and this will be equal to 0 right so if we bring this these two terms to the other side so their sign will become positive so this will become negative so this is an a so we can find an a so we will write that uh, 1800 into 9.81 minus that answer right that answer is an b so this is equal to 2943 newtons so an a is 2943 newtons now when the engine is on so we will have that tension uh, sorry that t force that uh, thrust of the propeller right so this will be equal to 3000 newton and similarly uh, th there will be a friction force uh, be, uh, beneath this uh, wheels at b right so here we will have some friction force right so that friction force will be acting in this direction right so let's say that this is f b force so again uh, if we apply the summation of moment about point a equals to 0 when the engine is on right so let me write that when engine is on 
and when engine is on let's say that now an a is an a dash and an b is an b dash right so again if we apply the summation of moment about point a equals to zero and let's say that the counterclockwise moment is positive so now we have to resolve this t uh, this thrust of the propeller into its components right so it's making 12 degrees with the horizontal right so it will have two components if i resolve this t force into its components here at this point g since the line of action of this uh, propeller thrust is passing through this point g right so we can resolve it at this point g so it will have two components so this component is the cos component so i will write that this is uh, 3000 cos of 12 degrees and similarly this one is the sine component so we can write that this is 3000 sine of 12 degrees right so now if we apply the summation a moment about point a equals to zero so as we can see that uh, this and b dash is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point a so i will write n b dash and the perpendicular distance of this n b dash from that point a is again 4.8 meters this weight is producing the clockwise moment about that point a so i will write again this will be minus 1800 into 9.81 into 4 the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point a is 4 meters right Similarly, this cos component is producing the clockwise moment about that point A. So, I will write minus 3000 perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point A is 1.4 meters. So, I will multiply this with 1.4. And similarly, this sine component is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point A. So, I will write plus 3000 sine of 12 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point A is again 4 meters. So I will multiply this with 4 and this will be equal to 0. So if we bring these uh, three terms to the other side of equation, so their signs will become opposite, right? So this will become minus. And if we divide uh, this whole equation by 4.8, so that will give us the NB dash. So when we solve this, then NB dash equals to, this comes out to be 15,051 newtons, right? So now if you want to find the percent change in NB, so let's say that small NB is the percent change in this NB. So then that will be NB dash minus NB divided by NB multiply by 100 right so we will do it directly in calculator right so this will be 15051 minus this 14715 divided by 14715 multiply by 100 so this is equal to 2.28 approximately right so i will write that nb is equal to 2.28 percent right Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 when the engine is on, right? So, as we can see that this NB dash is acting in the positive y direction. So, I will write NB dash plus this NA dash. So, NA, uh, NB dash is known, right? So, I will write that NA dash. Let me write NA dash plus NB dash. So, NB dash is 15,051 minus this weight so again weight is 1800 into 9.81 and this is acting in the positive y direction so this is plus 3000 sine of 12 degrees and this will be equal to zero or we can say that an a equals to this thing right so this will give us an a this is minus 15051 plus 1800 into 9.81 minus 3000. This is 3000, right? So this is 3000 sine of 12. So this is equal to 1983.26, right? So 1983.26. This is 3000, remember, right? This is 3000. 
So now again, if you want to find the percent change in NA, so the percent change in NA will be equal to NA dash minus NA divided by NA multiplied by 100. So NA dash is 1983, which is our answer, right? So let me write that 1983.26 minus NA, which is uh, 2943 divided by 2943 and if we multiply this answer with 100 so this is minus 32.6 right so na is minus 32.6 percent so i hope you people would have understood this solution like this video if this help in your learning